medical device safety and binary? Imagine for a minute a world of medical devices without software, we would be limited in our ability to provide advanced patient care. But with software, we also need to consider its associated risks. Let's plunge into the world of a standard that provides medical device software requirements through the implementation of software development life cycle practices. Visualize creating a software system that could potentially impact the lives of millions and its significance of making sure this software system meets the requirements. This is where the IEC 62304 standard becomes pivotal. This standard is an essential tool in software development, especially in the creation of medical device software. It's like the unsung hero of the software world, silently making sure that the systems we rely on for our health are up to the challenge. But what exactly is this standard? It's a universally accepted framework that stipulates the life cycle requirements for the development and maintenance of medical device software. It's not just a simple checklist, but rather a comprehensive set of guidelines that assist in creating software that is not only operational, but also meets the requirements. Why does this matter? Let's consider the stakes. In the field of medical device software, a minor error or oversight could have severe, even life-endangering consequences. The IEC 62304 standard helps to mitigate these risks by establishing strict requirements for every stage of the software's life cycle, from inception and design, way through maintenance and eventual decommissioning. This standard is not just about preventing mistakes, but is about promoting a culture of excellence and responsibility in the world of software development. It's about making sure that every piece of medical device software, whether it's used to monitor heart rhythms, administer insulin, or assist in surgical procedures, meets safety standards. To put it simply, the IEC 62304 standard is the backbone of quality assurance in medical device software development. It's a declaration of the dedication of developers worldwide to creating software that genuinely caters to the needs of its users while providing safety. Now that we appreciate the significance of this standard, let's explore its specific requirements. The standard IEC 62304 is not a mere suggestion. It's a requirement for medical software development. But what does it exactly entail? It's primarily safety in the realm of medical device software. This standard delineates life cycle requirements necessary for the design and maintenance of medical device software, which are divided into several key areas. Firstly, there's software planning. This stage is where you lay the foundation for your entire project. It is about defining software requirements, establishing a software development plan, and ensuring all potential risks are identified and mitigated. It's akin to how an architect wouldn't commence building without a blueprint. A software developer shouldn't start coding without a solid plan. However, before we proceed, it is important to consider the software risk classifications as defined by the standard. Class A software is where no injury or damage to health is possible. Class B is where the possibility of injury exists, but it is not serious. Class C is where death or serious injury is possible. The classification directly impacts the required development processes and documentation for the software safety. Higher classification levels demand more rigorous and comprehensive development practices. Next up, we delve into software development. This is where your plans become reality. The IEC 62304 standard necessitates that your development process aligns with the plan you've drafted, that it's systematic and thoroughly documented. It's not enough to just create software. You need to illustrate your work to ensure it's transparent and traceable. Following this is the testing phase. This is where your software is put through rigorous testing to ensure it's fit for purpose. The standard IEC 62304 requires a meticulous testing process where every facet of the software is scrutinized for functionality and safety. This is where you ensure that your software doesn't just work, but it functions safely. Maintenance is yet another requirement. Software, like anything else, needs upkeep. This standard necessitates having plan for maintaining and updating your software throughout its life cycle. This involves keeping it updated with the latest security patches, fixing bugs, and ensuring it continues to meet user needs. Lastly, we have problem resolution. Despite meticulous planning, development, testing, and maintenance, problems can arise. When they do, the IEC 62304 standard necessitates having a process in place to identify, analyze, and resolve these issues. This includes documenting the problem, investigating its cause, implementing a solution, 
and verifying that the solution has indeed resolved the issue. These components collectively form a comprehensive framework for safer medical software development. The IEC 62304 standard is more than a set of rules, it's a roadmap guiding you through every step of the process, from initial planning stages all the way to problem resolution. Understanding the requirements of the standard is only half the battle. In the next part, we'll explore how to implement these requirements in your software development. Understanding the IEC 62304 standards requirements is crucial, but actually implementing them is a different a matter. So, how do we go about it? First, recognize that applying the standard in software development is not a single occasion, but a continuous process that commences the project's inception and ends with its completion. We begin with the software development planning phase, where we define the software development lifecycle and identify the processes, tasks, and roles involved. It's vital to ensure that the chosen lifecycle model aligns with the standard. Remember, documentation is key. Keep track of everything, as you'll need it for verification and validation later on. Then, the risk management process comes into play. This standard necessitates identifying and analyzing any software-related risks throughout the software development lifecycle under ISO 14971. Risk management is not only about identifying risks, but also about deciding their acceptability and managing them, them properly. Following that, we establish software requirements. These requirements should be unambiguous, complete, and testable, and align with the user needs and software's intended use. This is a vital step as the entire process on these requirements. The next step is the software architectural design, where we define the software structure and its interaction with other system components, much like creating a blueprint for a house. After defining the architecture, we transition to the software detailed design and unit implementation phase. Here, each software module or unit is designed and implemented based on the architectural design. This is when the actual coding takes place. After the software has been developed, it's time for software integration testing. At this stage, the different software units are assembled and tested collectively to ensure they operate together effectively. The software lifecycle's final step under the IEC 62304 standard is the software release. However, before releasing the software, it must be validated to ensure it fulfills all the specified requirements. Any identified non-conformities must be addressed and revalidated. Remember, the standard emphasizes the need for continuous maintenance and problem resolution throughout the entire process. So, the work doesn't cease even after the software release. With these steps, compliance with the IEC 62304 of your medical device software can be ensured. Now let's briefly summarize what we've discussed. The IEC 62304 standard is a comprehensive guide to creating medical device software. But what are the key points to remember? Firstly, the standard is paramount. It provides a solid foundation for the consistent development of medical device software throughout its life cycle. By adhering to this standard, developers are not only meeting regulatory requirements, but also providing the utmost assurance to users that their software is trustworthy. The standard sets out clear requirements for every stage of the software life cycle. It's not just about the actual coding, but also the planning, design, testing, maintenance, and even the eventual decommissioning of the software. Each step has its own set of requirements. The standard isn't checking boxes. It's about understanding and implementing a process that results in prime software. This includes risk management under ISO 14971, which is a key part. It's about identifying potential risks, mitigating them, and continually monitoring and updating the software to ensure those risks remain controlled. Importantly, is applicable to all kinds of medical device software, whether it's standalone software or embedded within a device. The focus is on the software itself and how it's developed and maintained to minimize risks. Lastly, implementing the IEC 62304 standard isn't a one-off task. It's a continuous process that requires commitment and vigilance. It's about consistently updating and refining your software and always keeping an eye on the ever-evolving landscape of medical technology. The standard is more than just a set of rules. It's a roadmap to creating software that can truly make a difference. Remember these key points, and you're on your way to making a compliant software. Got questions? Please comment below. Until next time. Next, 